Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Let's see what Spirit has for you for the month of October. Shuffling's been a little off. There we go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer for the month of October 2024. Show me that Cancer energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer for the month of October. Show me that Cancer energy. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. All right. At the beginning of the month of October, you have the Page of Cups in the upright position. This is technically Cancer energy. It could be that someone is coming towards you to make you an offer here, Cancer. Okay. Um, it could also be that if there's like an emotional situation, it does state to make sure that you don't let your emotions get in the way. Clarify the beginning of the month of October. You have the Eight of Cups in the reversal. You could have someone that is stuck on you or you might be feeling stuck in some kind of situation here. Okay. What is going on for Cancer at the beginning of the month of October? You have the Sun card, which is success usually after struggle. Okay. It kind of looks here, Cancer, like you might be getting some kind of success. You might have someone coming in to make you an offer. There might be a person that is stuck on you wanting to come in and make you an offer after you start to gain some kind of success here. What is going on? The Hierophant and the Reversal. Hmm, this might be like an unorthodox connection, all right? You could be dealing with someone that's very untraditional or doesn't do, doesn't do things based on tradition. What is going on here? Clarify the beginning of the month of October for Cancer. Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups is a card of giving without expectation, machination, or hidden inference. Okay, so I feel like this is you giving a lot to a connection here. This could be representational of you being there for your inner child, okay, and you're getting some kind of success based on that. I kind of feel like this Eight of Cups in the reversal is more of someone that is feeling stuck on you, Cancer. Clarify the beginning of the month of October for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels, what's going on here? Okay, one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, you have the star in the reversal. This is Aquarius energy. Hopelessness, despair, lack of spiritual connection. For some of you, it looks like you might have stopped giving to a connection or someone else. Now this person's feeling stuck on you and feeling very much in despair here. Okay. You might even have a new person that is making an offer towards you and someone else knows about it and they're upset about that. Okay. Clarify the beginning of the month of October for cancer, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the King of Wands, okay? This is using the dynamic energy of a leader. I feel like this is kind of you stepping into a leadership role or just taking the lead of your own life here, okay? Um, that's very much very much a good card, especially with that Page of Cups and the Sun card, okay? Getting that success after a struggle. Clarify the beginning of the month of October. Okay. You have the Devil. Someone's trying to keep you stuck. Okay, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily... Someone's trying to keep you stuck, but there is someone that is like not very, it's not a very good person for your energy. It's kind of like they're holding you back from your highest purpose here or like holding your frequency back from being able to raise your vibration. Okay. Uh, this person being in your energy or at least popping up over here in your energy, it's like they're, uh, them being around slows you down or holds you back. Or it's like they, I don't, like I said, I don't feel like it's something that this person wants to do. But um, them being stuck on your energy here, you know, them wanting to be with you, that would hold you down or slow you, like slow you down or hold you back here, okay? Clarify the beginning of the month of October for cancer. You have the eight of wands, yeah. I feel like you don't really have time for it though because things are happening very quickly for you. This is like a very fast paced energy. This is you taking action. It's, it could also represent you traveling, cancer. So um, if you're going on vacation or traveling or moving, it could represent that as well. But it's something happening very quickly for you. I feel like it's more about the success, okay? With the sun card, the success after a struggle here, things start to work out for you after you release this person or this energy. It could, if it's not a person, it could be something like a mindset that you need to let go of. I, I do feel like it is a person though with that eight of cups. Someone's feeling stuck on you, okay? 
in the middle of the month of October, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Reversal. So this could feel like a waste. Maybe you feel like uh, you wasted time, energy, or effort. It could be someone that feels like they have wasted some time, energy, or effort when it comes to you, Cancer. Okay, maybe a waste of money. Maybe you are, are losing, like you're getting a little bit of a uh, setback financially here. It could represent that. Clarify the middle of the month of October. You have the Hermit in the Reversal. So this could be you coming out of Hermit mode here. Um, I would say also there is a chance here, Cancer, that if you're dealing with a person that feels like they wasted time with you, or whatever, or whatever, this person could be um, gossiping about it with the hermit in the reversal. This is being hyper social instead of quiet reflection. So instead of this person looking inward, trying to figure out why it is that uh, they lost a connection with you, or whatever you would like to call it here, Cancer. Instead of them doing that, they're going around and uh, gossiping about it. Okay, you have the two of wands in the reversal. Okay, even if it's a financial loss and you're and you're talking about it with people, you know, two of wands in the reversal is like um bad planning something unplanned happening or a complete lack of planning things not going at all according to plan so i feel like this is a little bit of a hiccup in the middle of the month for you here cancer that you're just not expecting okay six of swords in the reversal so it is like very clear here i would say that there's a good chance cancer that both storylines are true uh, it could be that maybe for some of you, there's a little bit of a financial loss that you're going to have to deal with this unplanned. For others of you, if you're moving on from someone, especially if you're moving on from someone, they're very stuck on you. Okay, Six of Swords in the reversal is the same. It's like the same energy as that Eight of Cups reversal at the beginning of the month. So like stuck, stalemate, sameness, someone that's not really let go of this yet. And it looks like they are gossiping about the fact that they may have missed an opportunity with you because, and the reason that they're gossiping about it is because they weren't planning for that. Okay, that's not exactly what they were expecting to happen. So clarify the middle of the month of October for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Page of Cups again. Okay, so this is just making sure that you do not let your emotions get in the way here, Cancer. Okay. Um... For some of you, you might have kids with the person, but that's not going to be for everyone. Clarify the middle of the month of October for cancer, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Queen of Wands in the reversal. Could be dealing with a fire sign, someone that is aggressive, demanding, maybe dramatic or deceitful. Maybe they're jealous over you, all right? Even if you're moving on and not moving towards someone else, they're uh, jealous over you. Eight of Swords in the reversal. Okay, so this is telling me that you are not stuck on this person. Okay, you have found a path to move forward. It says freedom to choose, new perspective, self-created boundaries. So I feel like you are just not really stuck on this person or worried about what they have going on here. Cancer, I feel like you are uh, looking towards where you want to be. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles in the reversal. So that's clear uh, message here to me, Cancer, that this person was expecting you to go back towards them or... They were somehow expecting um, you and this person to be able to work things out somehow, okay? They were expecting that to happen. And like I said, it doesn't look like you're too worried about that. You have found a route uh, for you to take. You found a direction for you to be able to move forward, and that's what you're focused on. Clarify the middle of the month of October, Seven of Wands. So this person is going to try to cross your boundaries here in the middle of the month of October. It already feels that way anyway because, because they're kind of like... Um, it just feels like a ruckus here, like a little bit of a ruckus energy. Seven of Wands is people or a person coming up against someone who holds the high ground. This is my card of a person or people that are trying to cross your boundaries here. I feel like that's why the Page of Cups is here in the middle of the month of October is to make sure that you don't let your emotions get in the way because if this person gets a reaction out of you, I feel like this will be their indication that they are doing something right, okay, in their mind. They're like doing something that is affecting you, so... Very clear here in the middle of the month of October. At the end of the month of October, you have the Four of Cups and the Reversal, okay? So this is you breaking out of one's shell and re-entering society, okay? This is water energy. I can't remember exactly. I th it might be Cancer. It might be Cancer energy, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So let me look really quick and see. Five of Cups is Scorpio. So Four of Cups might be Scorpio. I feel like it's Cancer energy. Let's see. Three of Cups is Cancer. So yeah, I think it is Cancer energy. It's good to check. Yeah, Four of Cups is Cancer energy. So 
Um, I feel like this is you breaking out of your shell, re-entering society. This is kind of a card of like getting back out there a little bit. Clarify the end of the month of October. You have the Ace of Cups in the reversal. This could be that, uh, you know, could be that someone is unhappy with you. It could be that you're dealing with unhappiness here and you're kind of getting back out there in order to kind of like fill in that gap or fill in that space of unhappiness. But the Ace of Cups can also represent repressed emotion. You have the Ace of Swords in the reversal, which is quietly referred to as the real death card. So I feel like this is you coming to face the, the reality of the end of a connection here, okay? You're like accepting that end for what it is. Clarify the end of the month of October. You have the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Things are about to work out for you. You're about to get some kind of good luck or good fortune or things working in your favor here at the end of the month of October. Um, but it's not going to feel super comfortable is what it looks like. Okay, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. So clarify the end of the month of October for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. What's going on for Cancer at the end of the month of October? Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Queen of Cups in the reversal, so it could be you that is upset or you have someone that is very upset uh, towards you here. Cancer based on a separation or an ending. What else? One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Moon card in the reversal. Um, this could be clarity, all right? It could be something like deception that is revealed, all right? Uh, some kind of truth to the matter. I feel like this is you just looking at something and seeing a truth in it. You see it for what it is here. Okay, what else? You have the King of Cups. All right, very powerful position to you for you to show up in here, Cancer. King of Cups is a card of someone that is emotionally stable, all right, someone that can regulate their emotions very well. It also says on the card, support yourself before you can support others. So I feel like this is you taking the time to be able to support yourself here, Cancer, all right? Some kind of balance is coming, all right? Clarify the end of the month of October. You have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Cups uh, that is in the reversal at the beginning of the month of October, it turns into the upright at the end of the month of October. So this is you um, very truly, like to yourself, leaving something behind, okay? A lot of people say that the Eight of Cups leads right into the Nine of Cups. And I feel like, although that's not true always, and in this indication, it feels like it is going to be true, especially with that Wheel of Fortune card, okay? You're moving on from something that no longer serves your highest purpose or no longer fulfills you emotionally, okay? Clarify the end of the month of October. You have the Four of Pentacles in the reversal. This is letting go of something or someone, okay? It's a release. Uh, this could also be you letting go of a specific outcome. So, this is a really good reading for you, Cancer. I really like this. Even though it feels like it's an uncomfortable energy, it turns out good, okay, at the end of the month. So let's get a Mystic Red Rose card for the end of the month of October for Cancer today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Wow, one already popped out. What do we got? It says Mask. Hiding true feelings, pretending and elude, gaslight and personify. What else for Cancer at the end of the month of October? You said, it says partying. Yeah, time with friends, having fun, happily single, and living in the moment. So you're kind of like uh, letting go of this person that's wearing a mask, okay? And you're partying. That's that, um, what card was it again? Yeah, the four of, pent four of Cups and the Reversal, which is Cancer Energy. This is you breaking out of your shell and kind of getting back out there. And I would even say this might be a time period for you, Cancer, to like, um, like not focus so much on the emotional aspect of this. You're, you're kind of just like putting the emotions to the side and being, uh, being yourself. Okay. So overall, really good reading for you. Cancer. I like this. If you would like to book a personal, okay. All the information about that is in the description box below. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. I usually do cancer readings on Wednesday. So be sure to come back this coming Wednesday for another reading from myself Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I'm coming back, all right? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.